in every areas of your life. God wants you to be successful in every areas of your life. It's an outcome then that I find myself in this kind of situation. Hold on to the Lord. He is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh within us. Apostle Paul experienced the power of the Lord. Experienced the, 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 the power of the Most High God. He said it in his word. He said, the stone of flesh was in me. I beseech the Lord three times that he might take away this stone of flesh from me. But the Lord declared that my grace is sufficient for you. For my strength is made perfect in your weakness. And Apostle Paul said, therefore declare, I will therefore glorify a God in my infirmity. That the power of the Lord may rest upon me. Maybe whatever you are going through right now, even in your earth. Even in your own life, maybe you are in kind of situation that you know that, Lord, where are you? You have been praying. You have been seeking the face of the Lord. You have been fasting. I want to challenge you today. I come to challenge you today that God is aware of your situation. God is in need with you. God has never abandoned you. God will make a way for you. Whatever you need in him, just hold on to him. He will give you the grace even to sustain you. The grace that will sustain you. The grace that will hold on, that you can hold on to. The grace that will enable you to, to, to hold on even to whatever situation you are going through. And I pray that God Almighty, who never fail, will make a way for you. God shall vindicate you. Because there is no weapons of the enemy that can target against you that can prosper. Because God is on your side. And if God be for you, who can be against you? This is what I want you to know. God has called you for such a time like this. You are written in the palm of his hand. You are precious in his sight. You are the apple of his heart. God has a purpose for you. The secret of success. God wants you to be successful. The ways of our God is the ways of prosperity. The ways of our God is the way is the ways of success. God wants you to be victorious. God wants you to, to enlarge your course. Everyone that walk with the Lord, God enlarge their course. God bless Abraham abundantly. God make the blessing of Isaac exceedingly abundantly. Even Jacob was extremely blessed in the scripture. As the Lord blessed them, this has the patriarch of hold. But God is still in the business of blessing his people today because the Lord is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He never changes. And the Lord that changeth now will begin to change every mountains in your life in the name of Jesus. It will bring those mountains down and, and, and level them in the name of Jesus. Every valley shall be filled up in the name of Jesus. Every rough road shall be smoothened in the name of Jesus. I've come to declare to you today that whatever the problems, whatever the lack of success that you have experienced in the past, God will begin to elevate you. God shall begin to promote you. God shall begin to enlarge your course. Everything you desire to possess in life shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. That position that you have been asking God for shall begin to come to pass in the name of Jesus. That job that you have been seeking the Lord for, God will make a way for you in the name of Jesus. That sickness that you lie down and you think, can, can I get out of this sickness? I begin to speak the healing of the law into your life. Because the Bible declared that, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou might prosper and be in good earth. Even I thy so prosper. I come to declare to you today that you will prosper in your body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus. You shall prosper in your body, soul, and spirit in the name of Jesus. Every area of your life, I begin to speak to all those areas that the healing of the Lord shall touch you right now. As you begin to say amen, the power of the Lord shall come upon you right now in the name of Jesus. That success that you desire shall be yours in the name of Jesus. You will not fail. You will not lack. You will not, you, you, you will not fail in the name of Jesus. The victory that God has for you, the success that God has deposited for you before the foundations of the world shall be yours in the mighty name of Jesus. And I come to challenge you that walk with the Lord. Walk with the Lord. God, the Bible declared that blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sit in the ways of the sinner, nor stand in the seat of discomfort. Say, but his delight is in the law of the law. This law of the Lord, just like what Joshua said, 
Delight yourself in the law of the law. Delight yourself in the law of the law. How do you delight on it? Meditate in it day and night. Not when you feel like. Not when, you, not when things are going good for you. Meditate on it day and night. Just like what Joshua said in Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. The Bible declared that this book of law shall not depart from their mouth. Say meditate in it day and night. And in it thou shalt prosper. You shall make thy way prosperous. And thou shalt have good success. You want to have good success in life? You want to prosper in life? This word of God. Meditate in it day and night. Read the scripture. Ponder on it. I apply it to your life. Let the law begin to minister to you through the word of God. He will speak to you. He will speak to your heart. Even sit down with your family. These days, my job is not an, it should not be an excuse. My schedule should not be an, it should not be an excuse. It's unfortunate that many families these days, we are, when last did we have our, our, our family prayer? When last did we sit together as a family? We need to begin to bring this into our homes. As I'm talking to the fathers now, the head of the homes, you need to gather your people around, gather your family around, and pray, and pray. Meditate in it day and night, and you will have good success. And also, and you shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth its fruit in its season. And, was, and its leaf, it bring forth its fruit in its season. And its leaf also shall not wither. I declare that your leaf shall not wither in the name of Jesus. I pray that God Almighty shall make you, you know, successful. You will be worthier. You will be greater. You will be established in every area. When a tree is planted by the rivers of water, that tree will begin to experience, it will blossom. That tree, the flower will flourish. That tree, it will be greater and be giant than many of its or of his peers, so shall your portion be in the name of Jesus. When you experience God, when you walk in accordance to his will, you will be successful, and God will make you succeed. God will make you to be successful in the name of Jesus. Look at what the ungodly say. The Bible says the ungodly, they are like chaff that are driven away by wind, and also, he said they will not stand in the congregation of the righteous, and the Lord knoweth the ways of the, of the righteous. Does the Lord know your way? Or are you among the ungodly? Today, if you are among the ungodly, I pray that you change your ways. If you are among the ungodly, I pray that the Lord touches you right now. If you are among the ungodly, I pray that the Lord begin, O oh Lord, to reveal the light of his continent unto you. I want you to know that God loves you. God cares more about you. The Bible says the Lord is not willing that any should perish, but that all must come to repentance. Just like what, in John, just to wrap it up, in John chapter in John chapter, chapter 35, John chapter 35, I read John, John chapter, just to wrap it up. I want you to know that the Bible also declares that God inhabit the praises of his people. Because God is faithful. God is faithful. John chapter 1 verse 35. And again, the next day, after John stood and two of his disciples, and looking unto Jesus as he walked, and he said, Behold the lamp of God. And the two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. This is John's disciples now. When they heard Jesus speak, and they followed Jesus. Today I want you to know, somebody, you've heard my voice right now. I want to pray with you that God will touch you because you, God, you belong to the Lord. Let us pray. Give your life to Christ today and God will establish you. Father, we want to thank you, Lord. We are grateful because you are faithful, God. As, you, as your word, Father, Lord, goes out, Lord. Bless your people, Lord. Transform their life, O oh Lord, and change them for your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We honor you because your name is worthy to be praised. Let your name, O oh Lord, begin to bless as many that listen right now. Let your joy be fill their home. Let your joy fill their life, O oh Lord. Do something new in their life. Touch them like never before, that your name alone might be glorified. As many that want to give their life to Christ, Father, begin, O Lord God, to do the work of the transformation in their heart, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you praise. We appreciate you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making them to be a new, a, a, a new beginning in Christ Jesus. You say, if any man be in Christ, is a new creation. All things are passed away. And behold.